Amen. Verse number nine. Amen. We'll be looking at verse number nine down to verse number thirteen. Amen. 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 God is faithful in all of the, all that He does for us, and what we have to understand in the body of Christ is that we need each other. Amen. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, "Neighbor, I need you." I Come on, y'all got to wake up this morning. Amen. Amen. Say, neighbor, Amen. I need you. Neighbor, I need you. I need you. Amen. Amen. Every person Amen. that is married, if, if your spouse is not here when you get home this afternoon, say, husband or wife, I need you. I need you. When you look at your kids, you have to say, I need you. Amen. Amen. Because what we will understand is together we all can win the race. Amen. 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 Together we all can accomplish what God has called us to do if we learn how to work together. Amen. 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 So often what we find is that we are warring and we are fighting against one another. Amen. We are arguing and bickering with one another. Right. But the moment that we learn how to get on the same page, the moment that we learn how to get on one accord, we'll be able to win the battle. Amen. Amen. Now, now this morning we're going to find Moses. We know that Moses was in charge of God's people. God had called Moses to lead, lead, lead God's people out of Egypt and to bring them into the promised land. But one thing about Moses, Moses needed some people. Somebody yeah. said he needed some people. Yeah. Some just like me as a pastor, I need you. Just like you as a husband, you need your your wife. Or you as a, a wife, you need your husband and so forth and so on. We need one another. Yes, because in right. working together, we can defeat the enemy. In working together, we can overcome every obstacle that we're facing. But we have to learn how to work together. You see, right. the enemy comes, to, comes roaming to and fro, seeking whom he may devour. And so many times, whether we understand it or not, his desire is to destroy our relationships. Yes. You see, he come to destroy the marriage. He come to destroy the relationship with the with the with the with the parents and the children. Or right, he come right. to destroy the relationship on your job. Or he tries to destroy the relationship in your church. But if we can learn how to forgive one another, yes. If we can learn how to forgive, and we can learn how to forget, and we can learn how to get over little small petty things. Yes. I believe that we all can win this morning. Amen. Amen. Now, now, this morning we're going to find Moses and we're going to find him and the Israelites. They are in an intense battle. And being in this battle, what we're going to find is that Moses needed some people. Amen. Amen. Now, let's look at the text this morning. The 17th chapter, verse number 9, verse number 9, 10, and verse number 11, verse number 9. 10 and 11, the 17th chapter, Exodus, reading in unison and concert together from the King James Version. Let us read. And Moses said unto Joshua, Choose us out men, and go out. Fight with Amalek. Tomorrow I will stand on the top of the mountain, with the rod of God in my hand. So Joshua did as Moses had said to him, and fought with Amalek. And Moses, Aaron, and Hur went up to the top of the hill. And it came to pass, when Moses held up his hand, that Israel prevailed. And when he let down his hand, Amalek prevailed. Okay, that, that's a lot to unpack right there. Uh -huh. Pastor Scott, why is it so much to unpack? Because although Moses is in charge, although Moses is the leader, Moses needed some help. Yes. Right. Yes. right in these very these three scriptures, we understand that he needed an army to go out and fight for him, All but right. he needed some leaders to be in charge. Uh -huh. You see, he said, Joshua, I need you to go out and I need you to find some people to fight on our behalf. Yes. But also, uh, uh, Aaron and her, I need you because I'm going to get tired. Yes. Wait, wait a minute, Pastor yes. Scott. You trying to tell me that leaders get tired? Yes, leaders get tired. Yes. All right. Do husbands who lead the house get tired? Yes, husbands get tired. Do yes. single mothers who run the house get tired? Yes, they get tired. But if everybody work together, Amen. Amen. We can defeat the enemy. Amen. Yes. Now the Bible simply says, as long as uh, Moses had his rod lifted in the air, mm -hmm. Israel prevailed. Yes. Right. But the very moment that Moses' arms got tired. Israel was getting to lose the war. Yeah. Uh -huh. What we have to understand this very morning is that we may bicker or we may fight against each other. Uh -huh. But we have to learn how to put those things aside. Because yeah. there's a bigger enemy out there that come against our household. Right. There's a bigger enemy that come against our marriage. There's a bigger enemy that come against who we are on a daily basis. Right. Uh -huh. right. So we have no time to bicker amongst each other. Allow me just for a minute to think if, if, if Moses would have had an issue with Aaron which often they did have issues amongst each other. But what if that particular day Abram would have decided, Moses, 
I'm not helping you today. Right. If Joshua would have decided, Moses, you didn't promote me when I was supposed to be promoted. Joshua, you didn't pat me on. Moses, you didn't pat me on the back when I was supposed to be patted on the back. You didn't give me a dinner. You didn't give me a gift card. So I'm not going out to find you on me. Okay, now. What we have to understand is we have to be able to look at the big picture. Yeah. See, and sometimes, many times, oftentimes, the, the, the battle is bigger than just us. Yes. But so we get so caught up in and what people have done to me or what people have said to me that they forget about the enemy that we're fighting. Right. Now, now right. what we have here is, is this is an intense battle because we understand that the Israelites had to fight so many people. All but right. what I like to say is this is almost a blueprint for every battle that was going to come up against. Amen. Is that Moses, you're going to have to go out and choose some people mm -hmm. that's going to be able to work on your side. Yes. For every husband, when you chose that wife, she was going to have to work on your side. Yes. Right. When you had those kids, they were going to have to work on your side. So no, I, I can't come in the house and argue with you every chance I get. All right. I can't come in the house and fight with you every chance I get because you didn't cook today. I got to learn how to understand you just might be tired. Amen. Uh -huh. right, right. You work just as many hours as I work this week, so maybe it's my time to pick up the pots and cook a meal. Come on. See, we, we have to understand that, that, that there's some issues, there's some things that's going on in here that we have to realize we need one another. We need each other. Amen. The only way that we're going to win the battle. It's by learning to work together. Yeah. Right, right. Hallelujah. See, see, see it, it, it's easy. We, we can win individual wars one-on-one -on -one with ourselves. Uh -huh. But in order to win the battle, we need multiple people. Uh -huh. now, now, look at this, look at this, look at this. Verse number 11. Verse number 11. Verse number 11 simply says right here. It says, and it came to pass uh -huh. when Moses held up his hands. Uh -huh. Now, think about that for those of us that like to exercise. Uh -huh. Or those that ever exercised before. <laughs> when, 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 when you're doing some pull-ups or you're doing anything with your arms, mm -hmm. this particular part right here in this region right here, uh -huh. you get a little stinging feeling. Yeah, right. Right. You get a little burning feeling right there. It's a little burning sensation. Yeah. So you have to imagine whenever they went into battle, they, Moses was going to have to hold that rod up for a long time. Yeah. Some of us, if they gave us a rod right now, we yeah. couldn't hold a rod up more than 10 minutes. You all right now. So if it was up to us, we would have lost the battle. But what God said, he said, Moses, I'm going to send you some helpers. I'm going to send you some people that can support you. I'm going to send some people that can support your vision. I'm going to send some people that can support your dream. But what we have to learn how to do is accept the help. Yes. We have to learn how to accept the help. What do you mean by that, Pastor Scott? Some of us, we're holding the rod, but every time somebody come to help us, we look at them funny. All right. Yeah. Every time somebody come to help us, we try to turn them away and send them in a different direction. Every time somebody come to help us, we say, well, I don't want you to shine as much as I'm shining. So, no, I'm turning away to help. All right. Jesus. Now, what we have begun to do is we're losing battles and wars uh -huh. that God did not intend for us to lose. Yes. Right. Oh, I'm preaching All somewhere right, right here. Yeah, see, 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 we're losing because we cannot accept the help. Yes. Uh -huh. Go ahead, send people. Listen, I, I'm sending somebody to help you learn how to manage money. All right, I'm sending somebody to help you learn how to manage the business. Uh -huh. I'm sending somebody to mentor your son so you don't have to feel like you're doing it all by yourself. God say, I'm sending people. Yes. Uh -huh. But every time I send somebody, you turn them away. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now, 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 what we have to understand is that Moses himself had to come to the realization that God, if you've instructed this, me to do this. I have to follow the instructions. Yeah. Let's look at verse number 12. Look at verse number 12. Look at verse number 12. Mm -hmm. Let's read verse number 12, verse number 12, and verse number 13. Verse 12 and verse number 13. Let us read. But Moses' hands were heavy, and they took a stone and put it under him, and he sat thereon. And Aaron and Hur stayed up his hands, the one on the one side and the other on the other side. And his hands were steady until the going down of the sun. And Joshua discomfited Amalek. With the edge of the sword. Now again, we still talking about teamwork. We still talking about working together. Now understand, now now watch this for just a second. Just let me let, let, let me paint this picture for you. Now if, if Moses and her, I mean Aaron and her is holding up uh Moses' hands, yeah. that means they had to send somebody else out to go and pick up the stone. Right. Yes. 
Okay, I'm, I'm trying to paint yeah. this picture yeah. for you now. But because what we have to realize at this very moment, if they get out of position, uh -huh. right. they going to lose the battle. Right. Uh -huh. So somebody else had to be in position to provide help to the helpers. Uh -huh. Right. Oh, uh, you uh -huh. just missed that right there. Yeah. Yeah. See, even the helpers need help sometimes. That's yeah. why it's a collective and we all have to work together. Yeah. 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 The husband might be the breadwinner. Uh-huh. But the wife is the helpmaker. Yeah. And the kids have to be the helpers under the wife, supporting the wife. So that way everybody uh -huh. is providing support to the main helper. Uh -huh. All right. right. But many times we get confused and we get out of place. Uh -huh. All right. Yeah. And we say, well, uh, they think they can do it all by themselves. Go and let them try. Uh -huh. And what we do is we sit back. And we watch that person fail. Right. Yeah, up for failure. How many of us have sat back and watched people fail knowing we could have offered a hand? Yeah, right now. How many of us could have came and supported just one time? Right. And that person's business wouldn't have went under. Ah, mm. uh, see, that's a mouthful right there. Right. If we just learn how to support one another, yes. listen, I don't have to compete with you because the same God that you serve, I serve, right. and God said he has no respect in person. Right, right. right. So when God starts handing out blessings, all I got to do is be in position Come on. Yes. Come on. to receive that blessing. Yeah. Now, now watch this. He said, he, he said, they picked up a rock and they bought the rock and they said, Moses, we know you're doing the heavy lifting. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. But you go on sit down and relax for a minute. Yes. And the only thing you need to focus on, Moses, is keeping your hands attached to the rod. All right now. Oh God, you gotta yeah, get this yeah, right there. Yeah. If you just keep your hands attached to the rod, we gonna support your hands. Yeah. Right. Now imagine one hour go by. All right. Two hours go by. Yeah. Three hours go by. So now not only is Moses tired, but Moses is also thirsty. Right. Yeah. Oh God, I'm trying to paint yeah. the picture yeah. right here. Yeah. So now I gotta send somebody else. I need you to go get Moses a cup of water. Yeah, all right. Now the person come back with the cup of water and they say, Moses, get go ahead, here's the cup of water. But Moses can't grab it with his hands because right. his hands is attached to God's plan. Yeah. So now somebody gotta give Moses a drink of water. Yeah, all right. Three more hours first. go by. Moses, we need a, uh, Moses getting hungry now. So somebody gotta go out and bring Moses some food. Yeah. yeah. The question is this morning, what role are you playing? Come on, ah, yeah. uh, that's yeah. good right there, Pastor yeah, Scott. What, what role are you playing in your household? Amen. What Amen. role are you playing in the church? What role are you playing on your job? Are you being a helper? All right. Or are you being somebody that sit around and talk about the helpers? Oh, uh, man, that's a, that's a lot right there. Because mm -hmm. there's some people that sit around and say, well, the church ain't growing. Mm -hmm. All right. But never pick up a hand and go put out a flight. All right. Never call and ask somebody if they can pick them up and bring them to church. Mm -hmm. You, they, they, your family member see that you and your husband going through tribulations. Uh -huh. But instead of calling saying I'm praying for you, I want to encourage you. They call somebody else and start talking about it. All right. But all somebody had to do was offer a little support. Yes. And that could have turned things around. Yes. Pastor Scott, what are you trying to tell me this morning? I'm trying to tell somebody you need to accept the help that God has sent you. Yeah. And not only accept the help that God has sent you, but be in position. Yeah. Because too many of us in the body of Christ, yeah. we're out of position. Amen. Amen. The pastor is doing the heavy heart lifting, but you out of position. Yeah. The spouse is doing the heavy lifting, but you out of position. The owner of the company is doing the heavy lifting, but instead of doing your job, yeah, yeah. all you can walk around and talking about, well, I got a 50 cent raise. I didn't get a $3 raise. All right. Uh -huh. And now we are out of position. Jesus. And because we're out of position, God is steady saying, listen, the team cannot win the battle because you're not doing your part. Jesus. And when we get to the place where we understand, you know what, God, I want to be in position because I want to be a helpmate. Yes. I want to I want to be able to help the situation. God will be able to elevate everybody that's in the battle. Yes. Look at this. Joshua was on the battlefield. Now, one might say Joshua was doing the hard part. Because mm -hmm. Joshua was putting his life at, at risk. Right. Joshua had to go against the arrows and the swords. But you know what? Joshua said there's no I in the word team. Yes. Too many of us in the body of Christ have begun to put I mm -hmm. in front of the word team. Too many of us are putting I in front of the word relationship. How is it that we try to marry somebody and we selfish and concerned about ourselves? All right, now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Y'all want to go to sleep this yeah. morning. I'm going to cut it off in just yeah. a minute. Y'all didn't come here. See, see, how is it that, that, that I'm putting I in front of my kids? How is it that I'm putting I in front of everything? And 
around looking at everybody else saying, why are you not carrying your way? All right. Because you're not setting an example. Yes, yes. To be a strong leader. Uh-huh. Listen, Moses is tired. I got to imagine Moses is holding his hands up. Yeah. Some of us, we can't even hold our hands up for 45 seconds during worship time. Amen. Amen. So, 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 imagine Moses have to keep his hands up until Joshua slay everybody that's on the enemy side. Amen. Some of us, if we was in Joshua's safe, man, for Joshua's position, like, I'm going to go get that other side later. <laughs> let, let Moses sit up there a little bit longer. Uh -huh. I'm going to teach Moses a lesson. But everybody understood that it's not about us. Yeah. But it's about God. Yes. And winning the battle. Yes. And when we get to the place where we understand we need each other. Yes. Life will be again to go a little bit smoother. Amen. When we get to the place where the spouse say, I need you. Yes. I know I make all the money, but I need you. All right. I know I stay at home and cook all the food and take care of the kids, but I need you. When the kids understand I need you, that's when the relationships will begin to come back together and it'll be in order and the whole family can prosper together Amen. but as long as we begin to continue to bicker with one another we'll forever lose the battle Yes. and God does not, did not intend for us to lose the battle that's why the scriptures say stand still and see the salvation of the Lord because it's designed for you to win Yes. Look at your neighbor this morning and say, you win, neighbor. You're going to win, but you have to be in position. And you have to follow the natural order that God has designed it to be in. Amen? Amen. Amen. Stand on your feet all over the building in this place. Every head bow. Every eye closed.